Hi, this is uh, Chippy from umcportal.com and I've just received the Vilif S10 from Vilif and uh, in this video we're going to go and spend about 10 minutes to unbox it, go around the device and uh, I'll tell you a bit about the device. It's a 10 inch uh, convertible multi-touch tablet UMPC netvertible pad type thing. <laughs> it's actually uh, more uh, close to a a, tablet, a convertible tablet PC than anything else, so we'll call it a, a, a convertible tablet uh, for the time being. But uh, I'm going to open it up now, and uh, well, let's bring the camera in first so you can see what's going on. Okay, let's uh, try and get into the uh, packaging here. I'll tell you a bit about the device while I'm trying to get into it. This is a 10 inch uh, resistive multi touch. Um, convertible tablet based on and I can see immediately this, this this isn't retail packaging so we haven't got retail packaging here um, the device isn't actually available in retail yet so they're just finalizing packaging and contents and stuff like that but we do have uh, a bunch of stuff here that we'll have to go through looks like we've got a power supply uh, some other pieces of cardboard here with nothing in. Looks like that's pretty much it. Okay, lots of shrimps in there. So not retail packaging. So as I was saying about the specs, Intel Atom Z530 processor, uh, which is the 1.6, but they're also offering this in two gigahertz version with the Intel Atom Z550. Um, Processor. I'm not, not sure if this will be the 550 version. Uh, it's also coming with a 3G option. And again, I'm not sure whether this will have a 3G built in. So, okay, hope there we go. There it is. Actually, it's looking even nicer than when we saw it at CBIT. Uh, sorry, at CES and, and IDF. And this, I'm told, is about. 98% uh, complete. Um, there's still a couple of weeks to go before they have it uh, finished, I'm guessing. But let's have a look quickly around the device. There you go, and there's that uh, convertible aspect of it. You've pretty much got a tablet PC there with a multi touch uh, screen. This one's running Windows 7 uh, Home Premium. But let's take a quick look around the device first. So, from the left hand side, USB. This is a mini USB port which uses Viliv's uh, interesting file transfer software. You basically put a USB cable in here to another PC, it fires up some software on each PC that allows you to do file transfer in a very, very quick way. Another USB 2 port then. We have uh, here underneath uh, a collapsible stylus. Uh, moving around to the front, there's the SD card slot. Uh, it's very thin across the front, so there's actually nothing there. Looking extremely uh, slim, it's really nice. Uh, and then on the left hand side here we have, uh, that's a headphone out, might be a headset port. And then we have this uh, multi IO port, which is Viliv's uh, port that gives you analog video out, VGA, S video, composite, and component, I believe. There's the DC in, and there's also on this side the VGA. A separate VGA out port. So looking underneath the device, it's fairly neat and tidy. We've basically got a battery compartment here. Let's just uh, open that up and unlock it to see if there's a 3G slot in there. Okay, not seeing, oh, that's probably the SIM card slot just in there, although it's not marked up. So the battery is pretty large. I think this is about a 45 watt hour battery, equivalent to a very high quality three cell on a netbook. Pretty lightweight. Uh, there's no markings on the device, so clearly not. Uh, it's, it's not a production battery yet. So let's just uh, lock that and lock that here. Okay, that's good. And then this, actually I'll have to take the battery off again investigate this part. Let's have a look see what this is. Is this going to be something special? 
I don't know. There's a high possibility that I'll break that. It's not coming out very easy, but it definitely says, ah, there we go. Ah, there you go, access to hard drive. Now that, I think, is an SSD in this. Uh, it comes with 3264 or 128. And that's a ZIF connector there. So if you're thinking of uh, any sort of upgrades, that's where you'll be doing the upgrades from. Now, of course, I have great fun trying to get this back in without damaging it. In fact, I might actually leave it off. Nope, we're okay. Right, popping that all together again. Let's open up the device. And there you have uh, a very neat looking 10 inch uh, device. The keyboard is actually pretty good. I've tested this out a number of times before. Left and right shift key single, left and right uh, mouse button on the pointer. And the pointer is not huge. I'm not 100% sure if that's a multi touch pointer. I hope so. There's a microphone input there. We've got the usual um, uh, lamps. And then the power on off button here. I'm going to hit the power on off or off button to see if we've got any juice in it. Uh, it looks like there might be something in it. Uh, up on the top, we've got a webcam. And this is the multi touch resistive screen 1024 by uh, 600. So it's, uh, in terms of plastics, really, really nice. This is uh, definitely a quality looking device and it's very, very slim. When I look at my Gigabyte uh, T20, T1028 that I have here next to me, that's a uh, much bigger, fatter and frankly uh, uglier device than this. This is pretty uh, beautiful and uh, here we're booting into Windows 7 Home Premium. So I'm just going to uh, log into that, move the camera angle and then show you some, uh, some uh, uh, views from Windows 7. So we're booted into Windows 7 now and I've checked out the device, we've got a 1.6 GHz processor, 1 GB of RAM, uh, 3G module is included in this, uh, the multi-touch is working and we've got uh, Windows 7 Home Premium. So um, I've set it up on the Wi-Fi already and uh, we can go to uh, Explorer, I can do a quick demo maybe of the uh, uh, pinch to zoom on the website. Let's uh, go back to normal size and then we can uh, do a quick pinch and zoom out like that and a pinch to zoom back in again like that. Um, the responsiveness of this is is is, is not that good. <laughs> um, so there's absolutely no physical aspect to the touch and um, if you you know what I mean by physical uh, for example the iPhone it responds exactly to when you uh, the moment you touch it whereas this is taking its time to recalculate and to re-render the web page so um, considering that you could do this actually on the um, multi-touch pad as well I believe um, trying to work out whether you'd use this for web browsing Probably not. So let's go to Paint. We have uh, Paint installed here, and I can quickly demo the. Um, where's Paint? Can quickly demo the multi-touch and the fact that it's uh, three points. So let's get a nice uh, thick line for you. We've got uh, one point touch, two point touch, and three point touch. There you go. So let's uh, clear that again. So that uh, one touch, two touch, and three touch. You'll notice that there's a little bit of um, jerkiness in the line here. Uh, it's either indicating that the sample rate is not that good, although a single touch, the sample rate for the resistive touchscreen looks pretty good. What's possibly happening there is that it's simply a processing issue. Uh, paint is struggling to keep up with three points at the same time. Uh, okay, right. I want to show you something um, which will be important for many 
tablet users before we just shut this video off. Of course we'll be doing full tests and on Monday, next Monday, we'll be doing a live uh, review session of this at umpcportal.com slash live with uh, JKK Mobile who, who also have a uh, S10. But let's just flip this into um, uh, no auto rotate on this. Maybe I need to set that up. But what I really wanted to show you was um, the problem of vectoring. Now, vectoring doesn't occur as it does on a traditional pad. As you can see, I can type here quite well. But what's happening underneath is that you're getting the second point registering on the screen. So although there's no vectoring, you really do have to still keep your finger off. There's no palm rejection in the technology. And that's also important for when you go to text input. And we'll just uh, demonstrate that now by going to the uh, text input panel. And if I pull out the pull out the um, stylus, and we try and uh, write something. Right, let's uh, try and write in there. We're not getting anything registering at all in there at all. What's happening is it's registering. In fact, if I was to put the paint application down there, you'd probably see it register. Yeah, it's registering in the paint application because I'm resting my thumb, my finger on the device. Now, if I go to the side, then it works. Oh, I, I'm really not a great handwriter, but uh, actually, <laughs> it worked it out pretty well. So that's an issue for those of you who are looking for natural handwriting input um, and for finger touch usage on the screen. It's going to be uh, a little bit difficult in there. But we have the full uh, Windows 7 Home Premium working. This is the 3G uh, modem installed disk. We'll test the webcam. Uh, the keyboard I've already tested and in fact what, what was really interesting to test out was the um, multi-touch keyboard. So if we put that down here, what I can do here is type this is a test of the multi-touch keyboard and two, two typing errors on that. So given a uh, scenario where you only have the screen like this, that's actually a nice solution there. So that's working pretty well. So anyway, let's uh, close off this video here. Uh, so this is the Vidiv S10, uh, 1.6 gigahertz on the Intel Menlo platform, multi-touch screen. It's a 1366 by 768, so it's a quite a high resolution screen. We've got the convertible, convertible feature there, 1.2 kilograms. It actually feels a little bit lighter than that. I wouldn't be surprised if it's less than 1.22. Uh, 1.2 kilograms. We've got 3G. We've got uh, what Vidiv says a 10 hour battery life. So we're going to uh, be testing that. One gigabyte of RAM. Some might question that. And uh, personally, I'm still to find out the value of multi touch, uh, the productivity value of multi touch. And that's probably because I haven't had a lot of experience with multi touch on these devices yet. And uh, I'll actually be taking some time to learn about the gestures, the multi-touch gestures, and to try and apply that and learn it as we go along. But uh, looking good, Vilif S10. My name's Chippy from uh, umpcportal.com. Uh, join us again soon on the website where we'll have uh, a full review of this coming up. Thanks for watching.